J Minusca Task Force, Lieutenant Colonel Ibnu Muntaha. Good day, Lieutenant Colonel. How are you? What, uh, we're going to just jump in. What are the primary objectives of the peacekeeping forces in the Central African Republic? Uh, uh, first, I would like to my get to see today and Indonesia are putting in the mission in Minusca. Indonesia is a take us with Minusca, and the main day the security council at UN headquarters. As part of uh, Indonesia company, only focus uh, only focus on engineering tasks. Uh, our main jobs in here are the first is a practical engineer. For example, construction of public or minuscule buildings and facilities. The second is the horizontal engineering. For example, repair and construction of road and this is the explosive ordnance disposal, which is the search and disposal of explosive that are wet deployed in the territory of uh, civil and uh, That is what I can explain to you about uh, our primary task here. Wow. Could you also share some humanitarian relief operations by the Garuda contingent in the region, sir? Uh, like most African countries, uh, the Central African Republic is also a country that finds it difficult to grow, especially in terms of water, food, and accommodation. We are currently experiencing a lot of transition that uh, makes difficult for people to get clean water for their dry season. Uh, in connection with this dry season, Aminuska has given us instruction to help the community in the provision to clean water. So, uh, we needed water aid for the community by supporting two water tankers that were sent directly to the local community villages. Uh, it was very well received by the community in regards to counter their difficulties in getting clean water. Uh, we are also carrying out a number of activities that are directly contacted with the communities, such as uh, road construction from airport to villages, uh, garbage cleaning in the people market, and support of us for vulnerable communities. Uh, we are still striving to the best to help us humanitarian aid for the local communities. Yes, right. Now, what uh, can you tell us the uh, challenges for the humanitarian uh, phase to uh, by the task force to deliver the aid into the vulnerable populations? All right. Uh, there are some challenges uh, that significantly affect our performance and security in carrying out our mission. Uh, those obstacles are the first is mobility. Highways have not linked most of the territory in order to carry out humanitarian missions. And second is armed group. The security threat to peacekeepers from local armed groups is real, requiring vigilance and combat readiness in accordance with the rule of engagement. And the last is extreme weather. Mm. Uncertain weather throughout the year is also a barrier that often affects distribution and construction in carrying out humanitarian mission. However, we are very grateful that so far we have been able to help our duties well and preserve the good name of Emelisa in Minuska. Well, that sounds really, really great. And, uh, you know, we, we applaud all the efforts that you are doing. But we have one last question. We're days away from Idul Fitri. How is Ramadan going there for the Kizi 10 Ikonga 37J Minuska Task Force? Uh, we know that uh, there are about 9% of uh, Muslim population in Central Africa Republic. Hmm. But it's still hard to find a Ramadan in the country. It, in our camp, uh, we strive to bring uh, the Ramadan atmosphere to the members by organizing some activities, uh, including uh, Tarawi, Darus Quran, 
breakfast together and eat the cup in house. Uh, this is uh, to facilitate the members to increase their faith in this blessed month of Ramadan. And on the day of Idul Fitri, we also plan to hold the Eid prayers in the ceremonial court. The, in the intention is to cure our homesickness of the festive atmosphere between Idul Fitri and Idul Fitri. Uh, uh, in addition, we also invite contingents of other Muslim countries such as Pakistan, Bangladesh, Tunisia, and others to gather and breakfast in our camp. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Ibnu, thank you so much thank for you, updating us in regards to the conditions there and the mission. May it be a successful one. And of course, please send our regards to the whole Kizitani Konga 37J Minuska Task Force in Congo with you right there. So thank you very much for your service.